um, I have a, a transman that, that couldn't be here today. And um, yeah. we have had a request by our homeowner to apply tile to the surface. And as you can see, it's a regular here. And we've got a piece of metal to take off. And, um, um, you know, I'm thinking a little... Sometimes it wants to move, but it feels like a liquid nail, so we might have to cut it out, reapply drywall if it doesn't want to come easy. Um, at the bottom, like you see caulk right here, that's got to be smooth. These plates are painted on and painted in. Our customer has relayed to us. And the distance is, I don't know, what, uh, 12, 15 feet. Turn the corner and go another six feet. Um, they have asked for a row to go beside the fridge. Um, one of the issues is this is it's close. There's no gap between the backsplash top and the wall. But as you traverse down, there's a rather large gap between the backsplash and the wall. And I'm thinking that might exceed the width of a tile. Because ideally you want your tile to sit down on top of the backsplash. Um, we're also troubleshooting this area between the top of the backsplash and that window molding here. And, um, you know, you can see if I look straight down, um, there's a lot of challenges here, but that comes off easy. And we can, we can get some material behind it. I don't want to use the word filler because it's got to be framing material. It's got to be firm. But, um, it looks like it's stone. And it feels like stone. And when I say stone, I'm thinking about um, the plaster on lace. This is a 60 spilled, roughly 65. Anyhow, um, that's it. Let's uh, let's work on this and get a quote out to these nice folks.